The cold weather range impacts I go over in this video are not characteristic of only the Tesla Model 3. They're characteristic of EVs and lithium ion battery performance in general in the cold. So with that said, let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome back to Tesla's Wild. Today I wanted to make a quick video showing the impacts of cold weather on my Tesla Model 3 performances range. So what I've done is I've gathered two real world data points, one from a couple days ago when it actually snowed here in Colorado, which was pretty unexpected. We got a few inches of snow and it cooled down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and one from today when it was around 75, 80 degrees outside. So this is definitely one of the biggest considerations you should take into consideration when looking at an EV or a Tesla and whether it, it will work for you. As you guys can see, it's snowed. It's October 10th. It's a super early snow this year, but it is the first snow. So I have a good data point today to kind of show you the difference in efficiencies between normal, warmer, 80, 70 degrees Fahrenheit weather versus a day like today where it's 20 degrees and snowing. As you can see in that upper left corner, it's negative four degrees Celsius, which is around 24 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm at about 61% and I started the day at 80, so we've used about 19%. So I have the energy plot set on 30 miles. My commute to work is 11 miles each way, so it's about 22 miles. So this 30 mile setting shows a good hunk of today. Just from here, you can see there's a clear difference in the efficiency of the vehicle. It's actually raised my overall efficiency or my average 30 mile efficiency to 428 watt hours per mile. Now, if we look at the trip from this morning or since my last charge, which started this morning, today I'm having an average efficiency of around 448 watt hours per mile. So we're seeing some pretty drastic changes sure, here. Today is Monday, October 14th and it's 18 degrees Celsius outside, which means it's around 68 to 70 degrees outside. Uh, this is later in the evening. As you can see, it's around 6.05 p.m. Now, if we move over into our since last charge trip over here, you can see that the exact mileage is the same as it was on the cold day back a week ago or October 10th. We drove 22.9 miles today, which is to and from work. Over that time, we used five kilowatt hours of battery capacity, and our efficiency was 234 watt hours per mile, which is quite a bit less than that cold weather range we saw the other day, which is in the mid 400s. This is the energy plot for my past 30 miles here. We can see a much different scenario than we saw on the cold weather day when it was around 20 degrees Fahrenheit. 22.9 miles makes up most of it. We can see the 20 mile marker right here. So you can see over this time that we're averaging much, much less, an average less than 300 watt hours per mile. What I'd like to talk about now is a couple ways that you can mitigate this sort of inefficient behavior from cold weather on the battery. First of all, when you're getting ready to leave or 20 minutes before, you can turn on the heat within the vehicle, the defrost, as well as the seat heaters, and make sure that you're just using as much power as you can. When you're using power on the battery, it's going to drain the battery, which makes it warmer in the process. I actually have a video coming up on the Tesla Model 3 battery pack, their chemistry, so we're gonna get more into why this stuff occurs. The next way that you can mitigate this is scheduling your charging efficiently. So after a while, after owning these vehicles, you get an idea of how long it takes to charge it over a certain capacity. So let's say it takes two hours to charge at 10% or something like that on your home charger. Plan your charging so that it starts at a time that it will finish right as you're about to leave for work. As power goes into the battery, it's going to heat the battery up and will make it much more efficient as you're driving. One thing that I would really love to see, and I know everybody would love to see that lives in colder climates, is that Tesla would release a preconditioning mode for the Tesla Model 3 battery that you can activate from your phone. I know they've released one for when you're going to a supercharger, but that only seems to activate with when you're within 15, 20 miles of the supercharger, or even less when it gets a reading from the battery and sees that it needs to preheat it in order to get the optimal charging rates. Because as you can see, there is a major impact on the efficiency of the battery and the efficiency of the vehicle in this sort of colder weather. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. This is definitely a major consideration you should take into account when looking at purchasing an EV or a Tesla in general. Uh, you need to really determine whether or not your commute and the cold weather will cause any sort of problems for your daily driving. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I've got a lot of new content coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned and we'll see you guys next video.